everybody. How y'all doing this morning? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all set today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. And I'm going to catch up at the end, baby. Let's go. It's like this every time. Yeah, that's my first time. But if, if it's like that every it time, i your I'm first sure experience? This one, yeah. You from here? Absolutely, yeah. How dare you? No, I'm just <laughs> No, nah, I, I, trust me, you, you, I won't miss another one for sure. Yes, but, sir. Um, absolutely. So I know you just said I was going to ask you, uh, I, as far as the, the fasting and things like that on tour and how that works for you, you know, just keeping your energy up because, you know, we're in, you're, you're in the second half of a long You long want me to uh, show you what I'm about to do? Yeah. Um, I don't eat anything all day. I only eat one meal a day. And the reason that I only eat one meal a day is because your body go through three phases. Your body go through ingestion, then your body go through um, digestion, then your body go through cleansing. So I only eat once a day. And when I'm on tour, when I'm touring, I usually only eat like, I'm, uh, I'm kind of imperfect vegan because I, I be liking stuff with dairy in it sometimes, like milk and cheese, but I try to like refrain from my consumption of animal products because it leaves plaque in the veins and it takes longer for the body to break it down. So I kind of go like plant-based when I'm touring. Okay, for sure. So you, you're not fasting on tour? Yeah, I fast. Well, I don't, I guess my lifestyle is fast because I only eat one meal a day. Yeah. But like when I fast. Water fast and things like that. Like when I do that, that kind of fast, I do like maybe Usually like 10 days. Um, I don't want to be too graphic and say something that's going to sound triggering. Like so, because people might say that I'm weird for saying this, but it usually take like six days before you get rid of the mucus lining. And that's the lining that lines the intestinal tract to keep like diseases and stuff from getting into your body. So I fast like on a sixth day, that's when I shit all of that out. That's when you just see the little clear mucus lining land on the top of the water. And then after that, your body ain't even gonna have no smell because you clean. Your body then ate up all of your impurities and your illness. And when your body don't have no food, what it does is it eats all your bad cells. And you know, it's, it's just rejuvenation to the body. Your HGH hormones spike, your human growth hormones, they go up. It's just, it's beautiful. Fasting is the cure for everything. I hate to say that like that, but it is. Absolutely, no, for sure. So I want to talk about the tour, or you know, the show in uh, in relation to the new album that you're about to drop, right? Because I've heard you talk about the album. Yeah, I got a new album called Ceremony. Uh -huh. And Ceremony, it just represents this. You having a ceremony with yourself. I learned to love the stranger that was once myself because growing up in today's society, we kind of taught that external things add value, but nothing external ever adds value because any new thing that you get, it, it eventually gets old. But it's things that never get old, like love and loyalty and family and friends and the things that we should value. That's why I like off the Kaza album, that you can cover all your scars up in diamonds, but it's still gonna hurt. You say you love me, but show me that shit for real. Can't play with love, cause that type of shit get you kicked. Then you can cover all your scars up in diamonds, but it's still going to hurt. And I just let people know you can cover it up with diamonds, but that shit's still going to hurt. Absolutely. So I, kind of just hearing you talk about the album, you know, before and then today and then seeing the show, it feels like it's like a, I don't want to say culmination because I know it's, you know, your journey's still, you know, you're still on your, your spiritual journey and everything, but it feels like you're, you're marking a milestone. Am, am I right? Like that? Yeah, I, I'm just, my fans love me and they trick me into making um, an album called Ceremony because I make a lot of motivational music for me to work out at, work out to in the gym because I like up-tempo shit. I like to work out in the gym. I like to make songs that I can work out to. So I got a workout playlist and my fans was like, you need to drop that. That's not better. Than... But I'm like, y'all ain't know y'all like this kind of shit. And then it just end up, people just like the, the, the positive reinforcement and the I don't believe in judging nobody. I believe in encouraging people. I don't even believe in competition. If you only did one push-up, I'm cool with that. Do all you could do, as long as you did your best. And guess what? Tomorrow you'll do better. And guess what? The next day you'll do better. And it's a journey. 
not a destination. And we're gonna have fun on the way, because I'm gonna talk that shit while we working out. We gonna, you know, we having fun. We clicking up doing positive shit. We replacing negative habits with positive habits. Absolutely. So the um the lead single off of the, the new album is called God Slip It, right? And so that dropped God Slippers. A, a few weeks back. I was kinda surprised when I heard it. Because I, I know that you you've said on in uh in the past that Something like I could walk on water, but they would just they would think it's because yeah. I can't swim. So I, I you know, what made me entitled the song "God Slippers" was well, somebody had asked me to gamble one time, and I told him I would, but I don't have any hands. So then he saw me eating. He was like, "I thought you said you didn't have any hands." I said, "I don't. They not for me. They for God." And everything I have, is, I'm just borrowing it from God. I could choose to do the right thing or the wrong thing. Absolutely. With whatever that I'm borrowing from God. So I borrowed a pair of God slippers. Absolutely, for sure. So, um. Diddy and Capable started a battery, got back in charge, did it again. Absolutely. So, um, haters are hate that I'm, I'm amazing. I mastered the art of incapable wins. My bad, excuse no, you're good, me. You're good. So, not sorry. <laughs> for sure. So, I also wanted to ask you. Um, you know, it seems like where you are now, everything you're doing is like very intentional, right? As far as even, not so much? Not really. I mean, I guess you could say intentional because I mean what I say and I say what I mean. And so I guess you could say that. I agree. Okay. It's intentional. And so, you know, going off of that, I've seen you, you know, I mean, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. You know what I mean? Man, but thank you, bro. Absolutely. But as someone who has you know, access to the biggest media platforms, you know, you've been everywhere multiple times. And it seems like you're making a point to kind of reach out and do local media on tour, you know, with other people. So I just, I want Well, and that's because how you do anything is how you do everything. And I miss those days where you was just starting out. For those of y'all that don't know, I talk on this camera, how you doing? My name is Kevin Gates. I just want to be your favorite rapper. But that's like, that's why I'm at with it right now. It's like, no such thing as big, small, me and green men. The ego leaves out the room when I walk in the room. I don't operate out of ego. Absolutely. We helping people right now. Somebody Absolutely. need to hear this. Absolutely. Right, y'all. I, I, I'm going to pause that video, baby. I'm going to leave that video up there. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? I can respect, like, what Kevin Gates be doing. You know what I'm saying? Because some, let me tell you something. It's hard to, to fast. People don't know, but it is real hard to fast, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be trying to get it in my head. You hear what I'm saying? So, you know, I'll be trying to still just keep on, you know what I'm saying? You got to do it like you can do it like an hour, two hours. You got to start off slow. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, once you fast, your body do break down and fight certain stuff. And then, you know what I'm saying? And that's you fast until God so he can help you and move you. But, you know what I'm saying? You can fast all day long. If you got if you got the wrong preacher, a pastor, a pastor preaching to you, you can be fasting just for nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But if you got the right one teaching you the right way, you feel what I'm saying? You can get a connection with God, but you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ's name. More people baptized in the Son of God, Holy Ghost, they don't want to put Jesus in it. You feel what I'm saying? So. If you ain't never been baptized in Jesus' name, you better go ahead and, and do what you need to do. Because right now, you can fast how you, you can fast all you want. That don't mean God is deaf. You know what I'm saying? Because the devil can play God too. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to be careful. You got to know your position between the devil and God. You got to know. Some people say they hear and they know. No, because I'm going to tell you something. If you letting your feelings, your emotion get between a lot of things, see what I'm saying? See, God will let you know that it's him. It'll be certain things that he going to give you. You feel what I'm saying? But the devil can give you things like God can give you. Certain things he can give you make you think that's that's God. You feel what I'm saying? He can dress up in different type of shape, fat, form, formal. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? He can shape. He can mold himself to a certain person or certain image that when you dream in a... He can show you some image that you think is God, and guess what? It's the devil behind that. You feel what I'm saying? So you just have to be careful, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, most people just, just need to just keep on getting together because, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be real soon, you know what I'm saying? God, he going he gonna to let it be known, you know what I'm saying? He, I'm telling y'all, it's going to be soon, but I don't know how soon, but it's going to be soon, though.
You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I be trying to get it right with God. You feel me? That's why I be trying to put certain stuff on here. But sometimes, you know what I'm saying, I do it. And I know I don't need to be doing it, but I do it anyway. But you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I guess that's why people don't watch my video or either like certain things that I put up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, to each and all, you know what I'm saying? I just be trying to educate people's mind. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? I started watching bad habits stuff all the time. It don't really put you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And it be my fault putting stuff on him to let y'all watch bad habits. You feel what I'm saying? I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of things I still have to deal with. A lot of things I still have to work with in myself. You know what I'm saying? Not nobody else. You feel what I'm saying? And while God says examine yourself, for, for you can examine anybody else. You hear me? I stand on team on business on that. That means if you don't know what examine yourself, that means take a good look at yourself before you can throw a bone and pick up a bone. Before you can talk about anybody else. Or before you can point a finger at somebody else. Look at yourself first. You feel what I'm saying? Fix you first. Before you can try to throw something at somebody else. Try to throw a stone at somebody else. You hear me? So on that note, my good people. You know what I'm saying? That's the end. I'm going to scratch that. You dig? You know what I'm saying? So on that note, on this note, my good people, y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that dough bell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.